Hi, Miles and Martha Laws, your local real estate experts here. Today, I want to talk about something you probably heard of if you made an offer on a property recently. That's highest and best. What exactly is highest and best? That's where you have multiple offers on a property, more than one, and the seller says to all the buyers, hey, I want to see your highest and best offer. Now, there's a difference between highest and best. Highest obviously is highest. So a $400,000 offer is higher than a $300,000 offer. However, best is a different story. So you could have an offer that's higher and the lower offer is actually better to the seller for a particular reason. And an offer has different aspects to it, one of them being inspection. Now, inspection period, that's a contingency where within that certain time frame, within that window, the buyer can cancel or ask for a price reduction because of what comes up in their inspection. Now, to the seller, a 15-day window or a five-day window can be a big difference. And more importantly, zero days inspection. The buyer waives the right to inspect, could be very large to sell. They could really like that, particularly in a house that's older. So you could have an offer for 400,000, another one for 390, and the offer for 390 has no inspections contingencies. For this reason, the seller may move forward with the lower 390 offer. Now, another consideration is the financing type. The seller could consider a cash offer that's lower, a superior offer. Now, also, you've got the closing date, the loan commitment date. But the important thing to remember here is the highest offer isn't always the best offer and doesn't always get accepted. I hope this helps. And don't forget to like us and share the video. Have a great day.